One of the snakes has come out of its winter hibernation, but is still not eating. Her name is Atomic Betty. Oh, what? <laughs> Man, that's not a snake, that's a monster. Last time Chris confronted a snake at the reptile park, <laughs> it was Queen <laughs> Bee. She's having you for lunch. She that's weighs in at 35 kilograms. But Atomic Betty tips the scales at a massive 100 kilograms. And she's been off of food. For a period each year we cool her down mm. and winterise her. Um, now we've brought her back out of that, bumped her temperatures up and normally she'd be looking for food. Whilst pythons don't eat every day, they do eat regularly. So the fact she hasn't eaten for three months, that's a long time. And she'd be starting to struggle because of that. So there must be something going on here. A reticulated python can easily kill a human by constriction. We're not too worried about the bite. Uh, it's, it's bad, the teeth are like razors and lots of them, but it's the coil. And it's the second coil and the third coil we're worried about and they, they can just crush. Despite his reservations, Chris needs to get inside Atomic Betty's home for a closer examination. Not like we're dealing with a python that's got no previous convictions. Atomic Betty has struck before and she's really called around someone. So if she does that again and does it properly, then someone could be in a lot of trouble here. Let's get some people together and let's do it. Yep, I'll get the troops. Okay. See you soon. So plan is over on head. Uh, we got myself second, Luke third, Mick and Chris at the door. At the Lizzie's Australian Reptile Park, from the door. Tim's organised a strike team of six keepers. All good, let's do it. Their dangerous mission is to pin down the lethal Atomic Betty so Chris can investigate why she's refusing to eat. Go, bring back, bring back, coils off. That's it. Right, up, one more on. Over you switch hands. Keep that off. Coil it. Come on, Mick, jump in. Chris, can you come in? Yep. Now, we've got a problem with that coil on top. Coil off, Chris. Oh, Someone on front. Right, up, let's settle, let's settle. Easy. Hang on. You right? Obi, I'm going to get neck with Obi. Someone got back. Yeah. Right, up, I'm going to push back to you, Obi. Stop moving all that. Everyone. Settle. Stop for a sec. Good? Nice cats, mate. So I need a heart. So a heart's going to be a third of the way between a head and a cloaca, which is what about there. All right, so it's a third. It's about, who yeah. about here. Beautiful. Chris is checking out Atomic Betty, one of the most lethal snakes in the world. Hold on for a sec. Here we go. Everyone on. You all right? Yeah, pass me that. That's it. Right up, she's good again. You can see her relaxed so there. <laughs> the python is listless and hasn't eaten for more than three months. You can just imagine when, once she wraps around, there's that much muscle around you that you just stand no chance. And no one can feel any bumps in the skin, there's no, no lesions or any sign of parasites there. All pretty good. Importantly also, her hydration was normal, so she wasn't dehydrated at all. So my feeling is that she's come out of a hibernation a little bit slowly. What I might do is give her a vitamin B shot, just to try and kickstart her whole system. Yeah, yeah good. Good, there we go. By giving her a hit of B vitamins, she's going to be ready to, to take on the world, the keepers, vets. Yeah, someone just stay on that midsection so she can't come round. And we're just going to go one, two, three, hey, all yeah. out. It became abundantly clear why she has that little name, Atomic Betty. Because when she goes, she goes off. I'm going to leave everyone out, back there. Go, go. Shield, Yeah, yeah, no worries. You got, stop her, Obes. Back, Chris. Did she get anyone? No. <laughs> she was just scared, she hey? She was saving that up, wasn't she? Oh, she didn't, she didn't try to bite. She was just scared and just tried to get away. I'm going to leave everyone out. Back out. Go, go. Fingers crossed after going through all of that, the vitamin injection does its job and Betty does get her appetite back. We'll know in a few days' time whether she's ready for dinner. I'll wait to see what's on the menu. Now, this is a small goat compared to normal. At the Australian Reptile Park, Tim is about to find out if Chris's vitamin shot has worked and kick-started Atomic Betty's appetite. Well, it's been a week since she's had her injection, so hopefully that's pepped her up. We're going to offer her a food item today and see if she takes it. Oh, she's interested, look at that. There we go, you beauty. Good. We've got to feed the snake something, whether it's rabbits, rats or goats. I mean, for us, it's, it's relatively similar, but I mean, the goats for human consumption, so it's not, a, it's not someone's little pet. An hour later, and Atomic Betty has a very full belly. 
we're just so happy that it's worked. You know, this is what we wanted.